So this video is for newbies. Uh, this is my workflow when I captured my raw files on my 7D and then sometimes they're larger than 4 gigs and they're split. Um, I'm new to this, about a month old, you know, new new user. So then I didn't know how to do it. A lot of, there's not a lot of videos out there, so I'm going to make one for you guys. Very simple. I Hopefully you guys know where to get these files. If not, I will have them in the description below. All right, so I already copied all my raw files from my compact flash into this folder. So I just straight copied it, and then I go into these are all the files. Don't worry about it. This um this is the first one. This is a split file. So how do you get the split files into one file if it's over four gigs? Well, I got this program file splitter and joiner. To use this first, you go to your file and you rename them. You rename it to no, not that one. This one's first. Sorry. File dot zero one. Then file. Yeah, make sure you get the uh, extension off. File dot zero two. All right. Yes, I want to change it. All right. Now I go into I open up my splitter. I tell it where to go. Desktop, new folder, nine. Now it's going to delete sequence after it's joined, so I'm going to do it. Now it's going pretty fast because I have an SSD drive. If that helps, yes, it does because it's compiling a lot, compiling a lot of DNG files. almost done all right it's done it's joined it I'm gonna close it off now I'm gonna rename it to raw dot raw file and then okay now I have the raw to DNG little file right here I actually just copy it and paste it and then I just drag it on top of this one and then it should open up See all these? These are your stills that I took. It's almost done. Now, what program I use is just these Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. You can use the other programs. I've tried it. I've, I, I just don't like it because I'm new to it. I don't want to learn something else. And I'm fairly familiar with uh, Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to minimize that one. I'm going to open this one. It loads it. In file. I'm going to go into projects. Oh, but make sure before you do that you have to go into preferences import and if you're going if you change your uh, frames per second to 23.97 23.976 you gotta make sure you change it onto this because this is default on 30 frames so it's already at that so I okay it I'm gonna import file I'm gonna go to this one here. All right, you always get the first one. It's gonna import it. All right, here it is. Um, again, if if you're just learning, you can go to auto, which sometimes does it great. This one actually does pretty good. You can do that. But then when I go into the detail, I always drop the detail down to zero. Don't ask why. And then I start playing with the. Blacks and whites. See, so that's too dark. Now, okay. And then from there, it's on this one. But now I, have, I want to imp export it, right? Make it into a video. Alright, so go right here. Go to right here to the. I think. Compose. 
uh, com composition, sorry. So there it is. And now I just go into file again, export, add to render. And then right here in the loss, you know, the details, I change this to h2.64. Now I change the uh, bit rate from 50 to 80. That's just my own preference. Okay, change the name. So test, save it, and render it. Now this is gonna take a while. There might be a jump, a jump cut because I'm gonna just let it go. All right, about after a half hour, the video is done rendering. Let's go check it out. Here it is. Not bad, not bad. All right, right there, that's where it's done. Now, if you want to go to Adobe Premiere and you want to, you know, edit some more videos and put it together, you know how to do it. You know, here it is. New, I think you guys know this whole step. If you guys haven't, well, <laughs> I'll make another video. All right, bye.